really want to see us together, but it don't matter, no. Well, today is the last day of the historic U.S. African Leaders Summit taking place right here in Washington, D.C. The meeting brought together world leaders from across the continent to address economic issues, also included a little star power, courtesy of singer Akon. Now, Akon grew up in Senegal and now using his success to pay it forward. Back in January, he launched the Akon Lighting Africa Initiative with the goal being, and quite a lofty goal, bringing electricity to one million homes across the continent by the end of the year. Akon joins us now to talk more Amazing. about the work that he's doing. And welcome to Washington, man. It's welcome. Good to see you. Absolutely. This has been, uh, we got to get you back for pleasure sometime. This has been a work visit for you, hasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. I got to come back for pleasure for sure. Good. How's it been going so far this week? It's actually been going amazing. Um, I think this is probably the most effective uh, forum that's been had as all, that I've actually been to. Um, all the leaders actually got a chance to conversate, talk, communicate. The businessmen are there, the entrepreneurs, the young diaspora. I mean, it's been amazing. Yeah. And I know that um, when you grew up, you grew up without electricity, and mm -hmm. so you got this idea. And the fact that you were hitting on solar power to do it is just brilliant. I mean, I thought it was just basic common sense, you know, because when you look at even Africa, it's, there's a huge power situation. A lot of times because the finance is not there, and more than anything, the infrastructure is not there. So you got some of the cities that's wired up on the grid, but then you got outside off-grid, which is all the rural areas that's just not electrified. But one thing that you don't realize is Africa, we'll never run out of sun. Right. So it's, it's just like energy is right in front of you. So well, how do we utilize that to help, you know, defeat that problem? Now, what about know? the idea to actually get this project started? Is this the kind of thing that you always kind of wanted to do and waited until you had the means to do it? Or was this a more recent uh, decision that you made? Um, I think it was a, probably a mixture of both, but it was more so of I saw how Africa was developing and how the Chinese were in there actually taking full control. And I want it to be a part of the building of Africa, because ultimately, if we as Africans don't rebuild and, you know, create our own future, then we'll just be completely alienated from how the Africa is supposed to be built with as, no say. As a son of Africa, tell yeah. me about the, uh, how lives have been changed because of it already. Oh, my goodness. It's not even no words to describe it, literally. Like, it's been amazing. Like, just imagine coming from the dark into light. Right. It's just, and then there's so many things in, that they couldn't do after certain hours, like the children couldn't study. I mean, you, you really, I mean, cause, because if you're in the rural areas, you're literally out in the jungle. So if there's no light there, this is, it could be very dangerous, like literally. So, but they've have, they had adapted to living in those ways, but I guess this just makes it a lot easier for them, right? So. You, you, you know, I mean, you've, you've been all over the world, you've lived all over the world, and now you get through, you know, your career, you're able to travel all over the world. Mm -hmm. Do we just forget and overlook and take for granted the fact that there are so many people in this world that just don't have these basic needs that, you know, here in this country, we do kind of take for granted? No, for sure. I mean, even me living in America for so long, I almost got spoiled to it. Like, I went to certain countries expecting things supposed to be that way. And unfortunately, it's just not that way. You know, you got to just kind of, it, almost, you gotta, it kind of weakens you in a way because there's no strength because you always had it laid out for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the advantages. And I think even being a, as a, a U.S. citizen, you kind of appreciate being a citizen after being outside because God forbid something happened to me, I can count that they're coming to get me. <laughs> they don't even have basic needs of that. You know what I mean? So it's to a point where we really took, we take so much more for granted. And sometimes I think you have to travel outside of your comfort space right. and just see what you are blessed with. And believe it or not, that'll motivate you to want to do something. We, oh, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, we have the, um, the director of One here with us, uh, the, with the Africa arm of the organization. And she talked about all the young people there on the continent who are uh, going into the workforce and, and the things and how Africa is now trying to turn around with some of the areas such as unemployment and other things like that. Mm -hmm. So how does uh, lighting parts mm -hmm. of the continent help the young people get to work there as well. You talked about students, but what does Absolutely. it mean for the job Well, that, one of our main goals was to make sure that we could provide jobs in those areas. So with the Acon Lighting Africa, like every, we utilize every community and we grab the locals, the elder who's always the one that has the most say, and he normally organizes everybody. And then we pick the most brightest kids out of there that understands the technology up to the point where we can teach them how to maintain the systems, you know, deploy the systems and more than anything kind of, you know, inject the systems in all the houses, you know. So they, we just keep them naturally going. And then with the scratch cards, it's almost like we, put, we make them responsible for their own electricity bill. Mm. But we don't make it so expensive the way they can afford it. It's actually a lot cheaper than what they're using now, which is kerosene lamps. Right. So our price is like $5 a month, which is way lower than what it would cost for the kerosene. And then it's a lot more health 
it's, it's better for the health too because you don't have to worry about no smoke hazards. You don't have to worry about the fire. kerosene lamp tip, tipping right, over right. and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the house catch on fire and things of that nature. It's a lot so safer at the same how time. how close are you to your goal and what do you need from people to help you get there? Well, not necessarily we need anything from people. We just need them to be motivated to come and do something, period. Because right now, Africa's wide open for business. And there's so many opportunities to maximize. So it's like, if you don't catch it now, you're going to really miss that boat. Because it's not literally leapfrogging from history to the future. Because we literally, like, skip landlines altogether. It's straight digital. Mm -hmm. Africa's just straight digital at this point. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The only thing left is the infrastructure to build. Without energy, though, we can't even get that far. It's, it's such a lofty goal, and it's so amazing to think about, just lighting a continent. You know, we, we, we get upset when our, our neighborhood goes dark, oh, you know, dark. For, like, for a <laughs> night, right? right, right. And now we're, we're talking about lighting an, an entire continent. So, yeah, I mean, hats yeah. off to you for this Thank initiative. You. Are you able to, to do this and still work on music at the same time? Well, I mean, you? music fuels all this. It's like without music, the, the opportunity wouldn't even open up. So. I will never let the music part of it go. But a new album is dropping in November, so look forward to it. I was going to say, what's next for the music? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tom, thanks for coming over yeah, and absolutely. spending some time with us today. We appreciate it, and we applaud your efforts there to light up Africa. Absolutely. Appreciate that. And when you're done with the business, come back to D.C. and party a little bit, all right? Come on, you got to take me out. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, we'll do it. Oh, no. We will do it. Oh, right. <laughs> Challenge is on. Okay, well, it is 1021 on this Wednesday morning. Coming up a little later, the Good Day Cafe goes on the road as Holly continues her lessons, or lessons showing us the lessons in how to be a gentleman. But first, the peak age for popularity. Details next when we check the study hall. We got another name to drop now, Mel. Aye, we do. That's right. <laughs>